Hey guys, I'm Justin, and I am Justin Makes Cocktails. <clears throat> Tonight, I am going to be making a Amaretto Sour, and um, it's a drink that like is not in a lot of my cocktail books, and I don't know why that is. Maybe it's not considered like a classy enough drink, so I decided to find the classiest recipe I could for it, um, and it involved me picking up a couple of ingredients, and um, it's because I want to make a really good one and it turned out great. So I'm making that for you tonight. So a little bit about Amaretto. Um, so Amaretto, this is uh, this brand is De Serrano, if I'm saying that correctly, um, which I looked up. I wanted to get a pretty good brand and I got a small bottle of it because I don't know that I'll be using this a lot. But Amaretto is a sweet Italian liqueur. Um, and it's either made from, depending on what brand you buy, it's either made from apricot kernels, bitter almonds, or peach stones. So I'm not sure what that process is like. But um, basically, those ingredients have what's called benzaldehyde, which is going to give it like an almond flavor. So that's like the signature flavor um, in amaretto. Um, comes from the word amaro. I assume that's Italian amaro, maybe, which stands for bitter. But because when it goes through that process, they actually add some sweeteners to it to make it sweeter, which takes away the bitterness. But if you were just using, you know, peach stones or whatever, it's not going to be sweet to start with. Um, I also saw it with some cooking, you, um, it's often used in tiramisu, um, can also be used in pancake batter to make pancakes a little sweeter, and um, mix into whipped cream sometimes. So I've never done either of those two things, so um, sound interesting though. Um, now supposedly, I say that supposedly a lot, I mean this is Wikipedia and they wouldn't even say for sure, but the drink originated in, like I said, the city of um, Serrano, I think I said that. But it came from a lady who, you know, was making up some concoction. She made up uh, apricot kernels steeped in brandy. So that was like the earliest um, known use of making it for cocktails. And, and it became popular in the United States as the Amaretto Sour in the 1970s is where it, I think the whole drink combined became popular because sours were really popular drinks. So bars would keep pre-made stuff together because it was such a common drink. So anyways, a little bit about the drink there. And I'm actually keeping my recipe open this time because there's a lot of ingredients and I don't want to screw anything up with this one. So I'm starting with a um, shaker and I'm going to add a number of ingredients here. So I'm going to start with my amaretto and I'm going to do one and a half shots of amaretto. Now I didn't put any ice in the shaker. I'm going to be doing this a little differently for reasons. And then you want to have a really good bourbon. It suggests that the recipe I found said find like a you know small batch or cask strength bourbon or something like that. So I've probably the best one we have I recently got is from Rabbit Hole, um, which is in Louisville. So I'm gonna do three quarters ounce of the bourbon right in there. And I'm going to do one ounce of fresh lemon juice, actually fresh this time. I needed it for the garnish, so I thought why not. And then this is actually two ingredients. So I'm using a half ounce of egg white, um, which is gonna make a frothy topping top for it and then one ounce of simple syrup. So I've got those mixed together in there. Now, the reason I didn't put ice in here is if you put ice and you try to shake it with your egg yolk or your egg white, it's going to stick to the ice and it's a mess. I've tried it before, it doesn't work. So I'm gonna shake this for about 15 seconds. Cutting this. All right. I actually, I don't know if I shook it too long, but it popped on me a little bit. So again, the reason you want to shake it without the ice in it to start is so that you get the egg mixed in because it's thick and it doesn't just mix with the liquids. Now I'm gonna add ice and shake it some more. It's a lot of froth in there, which is great. You give it a little shake here, get it nice and cold. Really quick, you know when it's cold because your shaker, if you use the same one I do at least, you can feel it. So I can open this up a little bit. I'm gonna strain it with my strainer instead of the sh shaker. Oh gosh. I'm okay. All right, I feel like I'm making a mess up here. So um, I've got it good here. So I've got a rocks glass with ice. You could also do this in a martini glass, any kind of glass would work. And I'm going to strain it in. It's in there. It's hard to get it off the ice, though. Here we go. There we go. It just, I, 
I don't know. It just gives it that nice frothy look. Got a little ice in there. That's okay. Great. Okay, so I've got some garnish made up here. I've got lemon twist and some uh, whiskey cherries to put on there, which is nice and cute. And now I'm going to give my amaretto sour a try. So this is a pretty fancy one. I've made these before, not this classy before. Definitely not with good bourbon. Definitely not with more expensive amaretto. It wasn't that expensive, but I tried to pick one that was decent. So I'm gonna give it a little try here. So I'm gonna change from downstairs when I make my first drink. They called for an ounce of lemon juice and I cut it because it was just a little too lemony, which kind of took away from the drink itself. But I'm glad I made the change. It's really good. You can still taste the lemon. So it's still nice and sour, but just got some a really sweet flavor to it, but it's rounds out with the bourbon in there. And the amaretto is just really good. And it looks so classy too. This has got a really good drink. I when I first started making whiskey sours, that became like my new go-to drink with the egg white and everything in it. It really is worth the time. Like, yes, I'm sure the Board of Health would say like, don't do that, but like, it's really good and that makes it look cuter. So that's what it's all about, right? And plus, literally nobody's ever gotten sick from egg whites, which I say that to my friends all the time, but like, have they? Let me know. Anyways, this is an Amarillo Sour. I hope you liked the video. Happy weekend. See you soon.